Fuel lines. Fuel lines would be good. Um, and the skipper would also be good. Well, I don't know if the skipper is as good as it used to be. Maybe. Okay, let's take a look at the contracts. So, you guys were saying rendezvous two vessels in orbit. Have two vessels in orbit of carbon within visual range of each other and kill the relative velocity. I don't see it saying that this is... Uh... Did, did they give you the, the vessels? Or I mean, it looks like we have to send them up, right? Yeah, we'd have to send two launches for this. You can build a KSC rover with a jet engine and collect like 200 signs from KSC. Um, that's not space. <laughs> that's, uh, that, that's emergency stuff. That's emergency stuff. Um, these, these save a Kerbal recover. Let's see, uh, Rendezvous added some signs. This, this produces a lot more funds, but getting into a Minmus orbit is tough. Once you, uh, that can generate power, reach a designated orbit within a reasonable deviation, have a thermometer. Let's do this one. This one uh, gives us a lot more funds. Uh, yeah, then the rendezvous one. And I think we've got the rocket for it. That hardly matters with polar orbit. Um, well, actually, that does. We, we, I know how to fix that. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's get into uh, orbit of Kerbin. Yeah, they're all separate biomes. State the equatorial orbit one too. Well, polar orbit and equatorial orbit, it's not like I can do both at the same time. Uh, that's the equatorial one. So, that's the nighttime side. So, we'll have to head south. And let's get at the right uh, longitude of ascending node here. Okay, I think that's close enough. Let's try this. Our existing rocket, uh, if we put it in a pull orbit, would be maybe we'd be able to transfer it to something else. I think we've got a lot of delta v on it, and I like the whole situation anyway. It's only thirteen thousand funds, and the contract gives us twenty thousand up front. I'm just gonna dump the landing struts. Obviously, we don't need that. We need the solar panel. But now that we've dumped the landing struts, I can put two solar panels to balance it out. Do I have mods? Not in this one. Uh, 897, uh, no. I do not have mods in this install. This is just strictly stock, hard mode, career. I usually use mods on lots and lots of things. As anybody who's watched my YouTube videos can attest. But I also always start out by playing stock in each new version of KSP. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, I forgot to throw down. Went a little bit too fast there. No, crud! Come on, that was just my piloting error. That was totally me messing up. Me messing up badly. Okay, we're good. Oh shoot! You're right. Polar orbit. Polar orbit. Uh, okay. Polar orbit. Sorry. Good thing I have a crap load of Delta V. 
No, it has to be south. Uh, they want it going in this particular direction. Well, sometimes my piloting isn't so bad. It's hotter than a normal orbit, yep. Because you don't have the rotational velocity of the planet going with you. Okay, let's see how this is shaping up. Could be worse, considering how... Thanks for reminding me, guys. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, I totally wouldn't have caught it if I didn't see the comment. So, there we go. The positive side of checking comments all the time. Yeah, so yeah, I have to go south on this side. The green thing is the orbit I'm trying to get it into. This is a contract. We have to get it into a particular orbit to satisfy the satellite contract. I'm going to go for a low orbit first and then boost out. That's for safety's sake. Yep, this is... Uh, but we it's not as hard as the mission I just completed with Minmus. I'll tell you that right now. So this is this is a breeze by comparison. Okay, so we're in tight orbit. And I'm just going to boost out to a tangency. I think, uh, yeah, we'll just boost, boost out to tangency. So what I'm doing is I'm boosting out until one side of my orbit touches it. That's it. Okay, well, hopefully we have enough in the little previous lander stage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, right, okay. We just went around the pole. Sheesh. Okay, keep going. As you were. Learned a lot of stuff from those missions, Mikagas? Yeah, I did too. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you, you learn best when you're trying to teach, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, that should do the trick. Alright, can't lose electric charge. If you're just starting out, electric charge, you'll probably already know that electric charge is a big thing you have to watch out for. Okay, uh, use probe core instead of map, yeah. Octo as SAS, yep, very important. SAS is key. Do not, don't try to use this state put nick mark 1. That is a recipe for disaster. You appreciate I did the math, showed how everybody to do it? Yes. Well, that's something uh, I didn't see a lot of, so I decided that would be a good thing to do. I mean, of course, uh, everybody who uh, talks about... Oh, this is a little bit off, isn't it? Uh, talks about uh, KSP tutorials, it's always, uh, you know, there are certain names that you mention in relation to KSP tutorials, but didn't see those people uh, covering the math that much so I thought oh really they accepted that as a completion these guys gotta be pickier than that that was that was a very sloppy orbit see uh, it's not so bad uh, 897 they they don't they don't uh, they're not too picky okay let's go to the and a state putting on the moon, so much wasted delta V. Yeah, that's a pain. Okay, let's go to the research center and take a look at what we've done. Easy money, yeah, we're rolling it now. Uh, some uh, Considering how quick that was, uh, I, I agree, we should do that uh, e equatorial one. Uh, zero degrees, I almost did it accidentally last time. Let's make sure all the, oh, materials bay, ah, materials bay. Okay, got to remember that. So this is the tech tree. And the probe you want to do unmanned probe parts is this one. It's actually a 90. You need 90 signs to unlock it. It's that probe part. That is essential. That changes everything. Yep, you cannot use parachutes on the moon. And uh, I suggest... Uh, Yes, I'm once again going to go 
wiki dot curable space should make this a command of some kind but here um, there you can find out what has atmospheres and what does not okay so uh, let, let's take a look at what we've done here uh, Minmus we haven't done the science junior on, uh, on the moon and uh, Minmus all we've done is of course the temperature scans we haven't even done one in uh, uh, what you got uh, high over Minmus Sending a curl to Minmus is probably dangerous right now. I need patch conics before I do that. And we've done a lot of EVA reports, though we haven't done the EVA reports uh, around the moon, right? We, we didn't hit uh, all the biomes around the moon with that. Okay, so now we've got the equatorial orbit mission, and I'll try and do that quickly. Just a reminder, that's uh, this orbit. So we actually have to go all the way out to way beyond the moon's orbit. Okay, please, oh please, let me get this launch right this time. Satellite 2. I don't even need to save it. Let's just call it that and launch. Can I upgrade it? Yeah, probably I have some uh, cash, but let me do this first. I, I want to have some buffer. I don't want to, uh, I mean, I'll have to see what I want to upgrade as well. Yeah, but I don't want to be like uh, right on the edge on the cash. Okay, here we go. Oh, shoot! Materials Bay. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, we'll take that. Oh, man. It's a good thing I just completed a good contract, otherwise I'd be really pissed. But, uh, let's... Yeah, yeah, that, that's fine. Satellite debris, recover. Alright. Let's try this again. I'm in a relatively good mood after doing the... Yeah, I... There's no way it's gonna make that landing. I'd have to have... I should have ignited the other boosters. Can you ever leave the Milky Way galaxy? I'm not even sure this is our galaxy. Um, but no, uh, I, we can't leave the galaxy. That is in fact a, uh, a skybox. Not really a galaxy. So, uh, science, science junior. Thermometer is not necessary. Battery power probably is. Okay. This should still have enough to get us to where we need to go. Parts are not a problem. Alright, let's launch. Okay, hold on. Let me check that I've got everything. Materials bay is there. Okay, and we're going to a zero inclination. So I, I'm not trying to do anything funny. Okay. Let's go now. Okay, well this is a lot more unsteady than it was with the boosters. That's amazing. Why is it more unsteady without the boosters? I mean, it should have less control without the boosters. It should be experiencing all sorts of drag, and maybe the drag helps. Drag helps stability. I, I, I guess that's a possibility. Center mass shift says I lose the boosters. Shouldn't shift? Well, I don't know. No spreadsheet calculations. Uh, you mean uh, to design this rocket? No. I did not use a spreadsheet to design this. 
I suppose you must have uh, watched my beta tutorial series, Farmer Jim, or is that just out of thin air? No, you know, what I was originally intending to do with the beta tutorial series was to lead into uh, real solar system and Earth. That's where you need the spreadsheet calculations. I mean, if you're trying to design a rocket for Earth as opposed to Kerbin, then uh, then you need all the help you can get, and math is the way to go. Yeah. Yeah, so I was actually, I mean, uh, I didn't know what kind of time frame we were at with uh, when KSP 1.0 was going to come out. But I was going to introduce FAR, Deadly Reentry, and all those things in that series as well. And, and then talk about how to get things into orbit around Earth, how to rendezvous around Earth, and transfer over to the Moon and land on the Moon. I will probably still do tutorials on Real Solar System and Realism Overhaul, but I'm waiting until all that stuff gets updated to 1.0 before I even think about starting that. But yeah, that's why I went through the math, really. Because I had bigger plans. Okay, I think we can just uh, use this to boost out to, uh, to our target. So let's just... Okay, prograde and go for it. Though, as you can see, I don't always do the calculations. Of course, I... Uh, I do have a ballpark idea of what I'm doing sometimes. Okay, so here we are. And it looks like we're good to head out. Except we need solar panels facing the sun. Purple triangle on the map. Uh, I'll have to see. Hold on, but let me finish this off. Purple triangle. Oh, on, uh, on here, you mean? Or on the map itself? This is the nav ball. Just uh, if you need some reference to it. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's that stage. Nabal purple triangle is inclination. It means the tilt of your orbit. So uh, if I wanted to change my orbit from this flat orbit right now to this orbit up and down, I would point at that that purple triangle. Is that uh, so? Uh, where is it? There it is. So if I wanted to tilt my orbit, that's what I'd point at. Right now, I need to see. We're not in a very good location. So, uh, that's tilting your orbit, and then you can skew your orbit by using the blue ones. So you see here, my orbit isn't quite matching. Well, it's probably going to take it anyway. Uh, but I can use the blue ones to try and match up with the other orbit. Like this. Okay, so uh, the blue ones shift it from left to right, if you will. The, the yellow ones expand or contract it, and the purple ones tilt it. Okay, so we've completed that contract. Let's do the Science Junior. I mean, it's right here, right? Uh, 7.9 signs, I could take it. Oh, uh, lots of uh, electric charge usage. Bad. Not enough electric charge to send all of it. Should be recharging. Oh, it's still trying to send, isn't it? Okay, it's still trying to send. But I don't know if we got all the data we should have gotten. I also can't right... Well, okay, yeah, that's normal. I can't right-click on it. Okay, so that contract is fulfilled. So, 
we've got a number of possibilities. One, upgrade the tracking station so I can see orbits. That would make Minmus a lot easier if I could see when we're actually going to have an encounter. On the other hand, we can upgrade mission control to have more than two active contracts and then we can have flight planning uh, if we upgrade this as well. That would be maneuver nodes. But that's only if we upgrade this too. We could upgrade well, we can't upgrade the vehicle assembly building yet. That's pretty constraining, the 30 parts. Now, there's also the question of... Really, heavy rocketry isn't going to be useful unless we have these tanks. But this science is useful because of the fuel duct. As long as we have the fuel duct, we, we've got something going there. So, it has to be this one first. The ant might be more efficient than the LV-909. You would go for patch conics. I'm leaning towards that. These would be more important if I'm gonna do planes, but I'm not feeling that right now. I, I have to do the math to see whether the LV-1 is actually going to be more efficient than the LV-909 with probes. It might be. Uh, with very small probes. The barometer is weak. Unless they've done better with it. Have they Have they uh, made it so that the barometer, barometer could uh, work in locations that wasn't working before? You think it's best to, uh, to have maneuver nodes right now? Yeah, but we can't unlock maneuver nodes just yet. We'd have to unlock both the tracking station and the mission control building. And I don't have funds for both. Patched conics just shows you where you're heading to. You can do pressure experiments in space now? Okay. Okay, I'll think about the technology later. Okay, I'm going to go for the tracking station. Oh, no, no, I wanted to upgrade. Come on. We've got upgrade. We'll get patched conics. Okay. And... That'll help me with Minmus. So let's see. It says position silent and polar orbit of Minmus. Let's let's see how much easier the tech tree looks so empty without mods. This is true. Uh, let me do a quick Minmus mission. Try to get this satellite to uh, this position. We, we I guess today is satellite day in career mode for me. Uh, let's try this out. It's a complicated satellite because it wants it wants a particular argument of periapsis. It wants a particular longitude of ascending node. So it's not so easy. Okay, but uh, I want... Uh, I guess we do... No, I want the lander. Because once we finish the satellite contract, we can land it. Okay, so we're going to send this over to Minmus. And let's see if I can do it a little bit better now that I have the patch conics unlocked. And if you're not clear what patch conics uh, is, we'll, uh, we'll show you that. Oh, this has the, this has the solar panel on one side though. That's going to be annoying, but I'll try and control it. I also want to get high over Minmus on the thermometer reading. Okay, here we go. So basically, the the launch profile I'm aiming for is I go to 88 degrees at about 700. I go to 85 at if I can at 1,400, and then 80 degrees at 2,800, and sort of continue on like that, trying to keep it steady, and in the prograde vector thing. So you see, I'm aiming for the prograde vector, trying my best. But it's hard. It's hard because I'm facing drag from a single, sol single solar panel on one side of my probe. It's ridiculous. And yes, of course, fins would help. But fins cost money and have mass. So that's the downside. 
Oh, and part counts. Don't forget part count. Okay. Alright, staging is good. We continue on. And how is our orbit? Have I used gravity to fling myself to a planet? Um, what's really fun is if you get to the jewel system, and uh, it has a lot of moons, you can fling, use the gravity of each moon to fling yourself to the other moons. So you can actually go from one moon to the others uh, without using much fuel at all. You can that that is easier than doing uh, doing boosts otherwise. That's good practice, let me put it that way. But you can. You can use gravity to uh, go from one planet to another. But you have to time it properly. That's that's a calculation even I have trouble doing. And you're not going to find any easy web resource for that. Uh, there, there are uh, transfer window calculators, but trying to uh, calculate the gravity assists, that is that is another step entirely. Uh, oh, we can set as target. We can set as target. Okay, so now we've got the ascending node, descending node. Boy, are we off. And I think we're about the right time for heading out, are we? Well, heck, we can we can make it. Let's go. Okay, we'll need that mid-course plane change. Not really mid-course, like right away plane change. So, uh, pink marker, purple marker. This is the ascending node, and so we point to the southerly one, 180, and we adjust. And you can see the angle going down. But our stage is out, so we have to stage and continue. Well, heck, that's a Minmus encounter, and you know what? Why don't I use Z key for full throttle? I've got a joystick, I use the throttle lever for throttle. So I use, I mean, that's just better to control with the joystick than with the keys on the keyboard. So what you're hearing is actually my throttle lever. Okay, it was a polar orbit, right? Yeah, so if it's polar orbit, approaching minus high is fine. So this is good. Uh, but not, not good if we lose electric charge. Well, I sure like having my little patch conics. So that's what this is. The fact that it's showing that I'm going to encounter Minmus is the patch conics if you aren't aware of what that uh, tracking station upgrade does. Now I don't have to guess. Okay, so now we have a periapsis there. I'll, I'll just get into orbit first. I don't have to worry about too much. And I'll show you how to match orbits with that thing. That little blue line there. Okay, we are now in orbit around it. Uh, let's get into a tighter orbit. We are uh, just positioning a satellite in orbit around Minmus now. And I want to log temperature in space high over Minmus and transmit that data. Oh no, we're going around the... Oh no, we are going around the right way. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't want to be completely off from it. Okay, so... Let's do one thing at a time, just for sanity's sake. I want to go... Which way? That way. Okay, probably not a good idea to do one thing at a time. We need to bring the orbit in and tilt it around. Yep, so we use the inclination marker to tilt our orbit in this direction as well. Head off to work for in an hour, figured you'd throw me a host. Well, thank you very much. And yes, thank you for your 
real solar system videos as well. Okay, I, I've got enough fuel. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a radio burn. Okay. Let's let's wait till that descending node. I'll correct this a little bit more. Didn't know why I streamed. Yeah, I just started like uh, like a week ago or maybe two weeks ago is more like it. Basically in time for uh, 1.0 to come out. Figured I'd try something new. Okay, so that's pretty close. We just need to bring our orbit in at the other side. Okay, I bet that's good enough for them. Or not. No? What have I missed? Uh, periapsis? Maybe, maybe a little bit of a radial burn? We'll get this right? Hopefully. Okay, just maintaining stability for 10 seconds. Okay. Alright, so our contract is done. Let's go back to this. Oh, uh, well, we can land this some other time. Let me just make sure it's going to be fine with the electric charge, and then we'll head back to the KSC. Okay, I'm going to ponder my strategy from here on, because, yeah, we can unlock mission control, and then we get, get maneuver nodes. And we can unlock certain sciences, but I want to sleep on those decisions before I commit to them because we're, we're still on the edge here, here in hard mode. So I don't want to jump on anything just yet. So I think this will do it for me here. And uh, yep. Uh, sorry for that. Okay, anyway. So yes, uh, thank you for watching. I will continue this. Uh, if I stream on the weekdays, I don't know uh, when I'm streaming next. If I stream on the weekdays, it will probably be 4 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which is 11 p.m. GMT. On the weekends, I'll probably be streaming about the same time I did this time. So uh, I'll try and put it in the title of the broadcast when I'm going to be streaming next. Okay? So uh, if there are no other comments, I'll say thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this stream, please do follow. And I will continue career mode next time.